penalty ban should also cover his client. The judge disagreed, which means Astorga could be sentenced to death as soon as next month. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez is live downtown with details. And Jessica, the death penalty ban did not include crimes committed before July of last year. That's when the ban went into effect. Astorga's attorney subpoenaed the governor for today's hearing to explain why, but recently withdrew it. However, a statement from the governor still made it into court today. The district attorney read it. Here's a portion of it. Richardson said that is not the case and that by signing the repeal, he did not mean to carve an exception for any case and specifically not Michael Astorga. Astorga sat quietly in court as his attorney fought to keep him alive. He was found guilty in June for killing Deputy James McGrain Jr. at a traffic stop in 2006. The DA's office has said since Astorga's arrest, it wanted to seek the death penalty. Mitchell argued that lawmakers, including Governor Richardson, did not make the death penalty ban retroactive because they wanted Astorga put to death. Judge Neil Candelaria ruled the laws are up to legislators, therefore he was not about to rewrite them. Fallen deputy's family says it was another step toward justice. You know, our son was given an instant death penalty. He was, uh, without feeling, he was murdered. And for me, it's hard to hear that uh, Astorga is afraid to die. And Astorga's attorney also asked for a change of venue for the death penalty phase of the trial. A decision on that was delayed. Back to you. Okay, Crystal, the death penalty phase for Astorga is scheduled for January 10th. A different jury than the one that convicted him will decide if he should be executed.